Uh, my name is Mike Maley. I'm a member of Local 728, um, and I'm a set lighting technician for on films, televisions, music videos, commercials. Pretty much every electrical responsibility is dealt through us. Uh, everything down to crafty, up to uh, script supervisor power, to lights, to powering the... A typical day for me is, you know, we, we, we uh, come on set, we usually just stage our lights to the side, we get what we most likely will use that day set up and ready so when that gaffer calls in those lights, we'll usually team up, we'll try to work in a team, we'll try to work with every gaffer a little differently because every gaffer has their own style, so it, you kind of got to be very flexible. Um, some gaffers like to have their special guys that stay on set and then the other rest of the guys will back them up by bringing them equipment that they need and then there's guys that he just wants them, he, the gaffer will want the guys just to stay at staging where all the lights are and as he calls them one by one, if he calls a 10k light to a tweeny light, uh, you bring them in, you would stand on that light, you would man that light the whole time until that setup was done. Film school, 2003 I did. Uh, full sail in Orlando, Florida, and uh, it was a good experience. It was an expensive, expensive thing, but you got out what you put into it, and I think I did very well for myself. Um, you know, it was a technical school, and I didn't do very well in high school, but when I found something I really loved, I did very, very well in it, and uh, you know, made a lot of my family member proud. And um, I was dating a girl, and I moved back to New Jersey, and she had a office in Irvine, California, and we decided that if I was going to make the move to L.A., that would be the good time, so we moved out to L.A., and I started out as a PA. I did about six, month, six months of PAing, which was, PAing is probably one of the toughest jobs on set. Slowly but surely, over the course of a couple of years, I, I started getting more and more work. Did about three years of non-union work. I kind of got into this business because I was always interested in comedy, I wanted to work on comedies, wanted to be part of comedies, whether it was writing or being in on screen, but I figured getting behind the camera somewhere was the best way to get closest to it. Um, but as far as it still is, it's my favorite thing is meeting the different characters in the business and uh, ex having that experience, those memories. It's uh, not your everyday type of job. Uh, probably my least favorite thing is uh, the hours, which is probably everybody's main concern. Uh, there's a lot of people in the business that don't have much of a you know family life, or they've been divorced many times, and and uh, that's kind of a heartache. But uh, kind of just gotta deal with what what you what you picked in life. And then for the most part, just um, like I, of course, we'd all like to work for people that are easy to work with. So when you run into those, because we have different types of jobs, from one job to another we have different types of crews and sometimes you're not working with the best crew but sometimes you are so what I, I usually, my biggest advice for people uh, usually when it comes to like going to school because I usually say um, if you're going to film school because film school can be expensive depending where you go and uh, I don't mean to say it rudely but I say if mommy and daddy are going to pay for the film school go ahead and do the film school but if you got to pay for it yourself, you kind of throwing a little bit of money out the window when you could just move out, take a loan for a year's rent, pay it off the rent, and just slowly get into the business that way. Because there's plenty of people that don't go to film school. And right now, I won't lie, I have about a $500 a month film student loan payment I have to cover. And I meet guys in the business that work right alongside me all the time that don't have those loans at all and don't have that type of stress in their life, which they can afford, you know to get a home and mortgage and all that stuff so that's my biggest advice is if you got the money go ahead and go to film school if you don't just come on out just just talk to people